Hello. Today, I. It was really a great day. I significantly increased my threshold for pain. Uh, here's the result right here. <clears throat> just had massage. <clears throat> just had massage therapy done for an hour. Earlier today, worked out, no problems. Went to work, no problems. Stood up, it felt a little bit, just a little bit weak, but nothing, nothing severe. Go for lunch. I had to use the rail as a crutch to get down four flights of stairs. Then I had to <clears throat> pull a bicycle down. It was hanging upright on a hook. I had to get it down from there and then use that as a crutch to ride to the supermarket. And then when I get there, I chain the bicycle, not outside. There's no way I could have done it outside. I chain it right next to the shopping carts inside. And then I use a shopping cart as a walker. And I get about halfway down the frozen food aisle. Realize that the frozen vegetables are on the other side. So I have to go backwards, go to the other side, and finally I find the frozen peas. And so I got four bags. I figured two on my foot at one time and then put them back in the freezer, then two more on my feet and rotate. The best part was though, when I figured out that I could use the shopping cart and I would, they're a little shorter so I could roll my waist over the 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 pushing the handlebar and just kind of whoo glide along like that it was basically to the point where I was waiting in line to check out and just sweating bullets I I could feel myself turning white the pain was that awesome and I had I could not take it I had to put the peas on my neck my between my wrists and just that was the only way I could manage because actually in earlier before that I had ate some half of a chicken and I think it was a little just a little bit undercooked so on top of that I felt like I might have gotten a little bit of just a little bit of food poisoning. So imagine just sweat and bullets, excruciating pain, standing in line waiting, and I'm just white. My face is just white. I want to vomit. But I make it through. And once I get outside and pay, I just collapse and sit on the floor and get those peas on my my neck take my shoe off get them on my ankle and people were just it was actually pretty great because a lot of people were really helpful asked me hey do you need help how can I help you um, two of the managers came and uh, nobody older people don't really speak English that well and I just said, I just need 10 minutes, 10 minutes to collect my energy. So I sat there and gathered myself for the next part of my journey. Ride my bicycle home. Normally a two to three minute trip probably took me about 10 
that was great. And another awesome part was that I had a great view after climbing two flights of stairs because I forgot my keys in my backpack at our co-working space. And yeah, so I just sat there, iced my ankle, waited for my waited for my buddy to to bring the keys back. And then I called a massage therapist. Got my ankle done for about an hour. <laughs> that was six thousand. Six thousand Hungarian Florence. That's like twenty-two dollars. So I just made out like a like a thief. I'm gonna be going there probably once every two weeks. I'm actually excited. I'm happy this happened to me. In on some level. Uh so just goes to turn out, not everything is the worst thing in the world. Massage therapy, one hour, twenty-two dollars. And I have to say, I'm a little bit high. I I took an oxycodone, a hydrocodone. My skin's itching right now, that's why. Uh, that I had brought from the U.S. So, everything's all good in the hood. Peace out.